Okay, we are the Screaming Sirens, and our project was an AI model to detect footprints. Our motive for creating this project was imagine you're a person going on a hike or going out to get mail and you see tracks. Well, it's always a good idea to find the culprit. Even if they just look like cat prints, it could be the doing of a raccoon that's been pestering the community. Finding the owners of these furry feet marks could even save your life. On a hike, you might find yourself asking, what are all these footprints I keep stepping on? Watch out, those might just be bear prints. Proceed with caution. Um, so our project has uh, multiple footprints. Uh, and the way to use this is you can click this little button to upload them. Um, here, right now I'll use a raccoon footprint. Um, and all you have to do is click open and it will give you the confidence that it has in the results. And it will give you a little description on the animal underneath it. This also works for humans, horses, cougars, bears, dogs, cats, and deer. Um, here is the deer footprint. And it shows you the confidence and more description. How we trained our model. So here's our process. In the first week, we decided to build an AI to identify animal and human footprint tracks. We first decided on what animals to detect and then used SERP API to scrape the internet for data. We then used RoboFlow to label footprints in our data set. During the second week, we coded our program using Google Collabs, which trained our product and spits out a confusion matrix evaluating the performance of our AI. A confusion matrix is a table giving the user a visual reference to compare expected results versus actual results, and you'll see a couple later. Our team went through five different versions with unique augmentations and data sets to arrive to our final model. This week, we created a website using a template from Bootstrap, as you can see. Users can easily or upload photos for our de detector to identify, as well as provide some background information to the user. This is available for anybody who utilized to identify their footprint findings. Uh, some challenges that we faced was the lack of high quality data. For, um, to overcome this issue, we utilized several different augmentations and focused more specific image searching. For example, we would search things like cougar footprints in snow or bear footprints in mud. Another issue we faced was that many animal footprints was very similar. For example, cougars and dogs are nearly identical and it's very hard to uh, identify. This made it very hard for the model to differentiate between certain animals. To overcome this challenge, we decided to go over all our data and clean it so that the only data we have for the model is clean data that distinctly separates each footprint. Uh, in the future, we could improve our model by increasing its capability to identify different footprints. And this would be a similar process of what we've already done to train a new set of animals. Another improvement could be improving our confidence in the identification of the footprint. This would involve us gathering more data for each animal and training our model to identify them. All right, so for the first matrix, there's a lot of confusion between the different types of animals, and it's mainly shown in the discoloration outside of the diagonal line. And the program's main difficulties were between horses, cats, and dogs. And to fix this, we added more effective data augmentation like shear, mosaic, and flip. And by using these techniques, we were able to maximize our results. After going through the process of adding, changing, and running the data four more times, we became satisfied with the results of version five. In this confusion matrix, you can see that there's much less discoloration and the diagonal line is very prominent. This means that the product is ready to be used and will give relatively accurate results. Our team was created by our AI was created by our team of seven students in high school during an AI summer camp. We were learning computer vision and we were given the opportunity to create our own identification software, which led to the creation 
of our AI in the course of three weeks. Our front end team was Arnav, Adith, Audrey, and Lucas Liu. Our back end team was Carlos, Ashika, and Kathleen. And that concludes our presentation. Thanks for listening.